Good morning, my friends. How'd you like that breakfast? Wasn't that delicious? That was 240 calories. Hello. That was really a good breakfast. I enjoyed every single bite of it. But now Doug and I are on our way out. Where is Doug? Well, he's in his father's house who lives four doors down from us. And his my uh, father-in-law is 93 years old. So we're checking to see if he needs anything, if he could use anything at the store. We really don't want him to go to the store because of his age, we think it's best that he stays home. So if he can give Doug a list of some sort, we'll pick it up. We're also picking up my very young 80 year old mother who said, I'll come to the Dollar General with you. So I said, okay. So we're bringing her her shampoo, which we have to order on Amazon. So it came to my house. So we're going to her house. I'm gonna drop that off. What else is up? What else is up? Nothing, this coronavirus, this is all you hear. This is all you hear. And it is frightening, but I don't want people to panic. But I think they are. I really believe people are starting to panic. Stores are running out of the essentials, if you know what I mean. So look at me today. There's no eye makeup on. There's a little eyeliner. That's about it. That's what you're getting today. <laughs> I'm not looking glamorous today, that's for sure. I'm 61 years old. How glamorous can you look? Seriously, seriously. And I just, and then what we'll do is when I come home, like I'll show you what I'm having for dinner, what I prepared, and maybe Doug and I will sit and have dinner with all of you guys. I'll tell you the calorie count. I cannot believe today is day five. I can't. Do you see how fast the days go by? I can't wait to get on the scale though, and I know I'm itching to do it, but I'll just go on it privately. I will post it on the seventh day. Um, how many pounds I lost in a week. You know, I'm hoping it's something to be honest with you because I've been eating very well, very well. So I hope the scale says, Denise, you lost a few pounds. I'll be like, very good, very good. Because I don't want to lose a ton of weight very fast because you know how it is. I don't have to tell you. You know, I don't want to starve myself. I said 1,200 calories a day, which honestly, that Dr. Nazarone or Zazar Do whatever his name is on the 600 pound life, he says, I'm going to put you on a 1,200 calorie day to a diet. Now, I know he says, well, high car, a uh, high uh, protein, low carb, but you know what? 1,200 calories is 1,200 calories. However, you're going to get it as long as you stay within those 1,200 calories. So I figured that's what I'm doing. If you're new to my channel, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm happy to have you here. I truly am. And oh, there's one other thing. Oh, I want to shout on another channel. I want to shout out another channel. I so enjoy Jill's Comfort Zone. And I will put her channel in the description below. She's such a fun woman to go to her channel. She's cooking. She's upbeat. She does challenges. She's just a lot of fun. Sometimes her daughter joins in with her and I do enjoy her. Hi, Jill. Hi. And I do watch her. Every time she drops a video, I'm always watching her. There's another channel I want to tell, uh, tell you guys about. It's Promo STK. And the, um, that is she uh, she Shella. Listen to me. Shella and Frank. Now she does some series, like she's doing a prison series. And it was excellent. It truly is very, very good. She used to work in a prison. So it's a really good series. And then she'll do challenges with her husband, Mr. Frank. And he's just absolute riot. He's just, I, I really, I think she's got patience of a saint. Shella, you have patience of a saint. That's all I can say. Another good channel, Promo STK, which I will put in the description below. Another channel that I like, see now that's, I, I don't want to do so many at one show because it'll, I'll get so confused. But another channel I like is Peace and Eats. And I'll leave it in the description below. Jules is just the sweetest thing going. Her daughter sometimes comes in with her and does some challenges. She has great stories. She's just a down to earth human being. I truly like her. Everybody that I'm telling you about, they're down to earth, they're real. And it makes you feel comfortable when you go to their channel and they're not so politically correct. So I do like their channels. And I'll be shouting out more as I go along. But for now, let's go pick up mother and get Doug in the car. Maybe the father's making a list. I don't know. I don't know. I'll see you in a little while. And now we're at mother's. Where is the goddess? Where is the goddess? Comes the goddess. Here she is. 
mother in all her glory. Oh, she's putting cotton balls in her ears. Because God forbid she gets any kind of ear, any air in those ears. And there goes mother. Say goodbye, mother. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just dropped mother off. And now we're heading back home. I will tell you that the Dollar Tree, the Dollar, Dollar, General. No, Dollar General, oh my God, in the valley was very, very nice. It was very, very clean. But a, a little old lady was coming out. She goes, they have no eggs. They have no bleach. They have no bread, which I did see. They did have some bleach. They had no hand, hand sanitizer. They had um, no water. They had... Um, we got the last dozen eggs. We got the last dozen eggs that was in there. <laughs> Then I went to stopped at another grocery store. They had eggs, so I picked some of our eggs up. Even though I have freeze-dried eggs, and I do, I um, have that. And what else? What else? Oh, oh, what was I saying? I, I, sometimes I lose the track of my own mind. Oh, Mother Deer did not get her chimes. Mother Deer did not get her chimes. They did. She didn't like the Dollar, the dollar General's chimes, so I didn't get them. And uh, the one thing I'm noticing, every restaurant, there's no cause. None. And it's Sunday, and most people do go out on a Sunday. And even though you're seeing this probably on Wednesday, it, today is Sunday. And nobody, when I tell you nobody is in restaurants, they're not. They're not. They're not even, I don't see anything happening. Outside of the grocery stores that they're have packed. people, they're packed. They're packed. The grocery stores are packed. But the one that I just went to had milk, had eggs, had... Um, water had bleach but that's not saying that's like that all over because it's not but we went to a really small town and even that little small town was packed so that's it's a little frightening it's a little frightening well now you can check applebee's parking lot for sure well applebee's is not bad because i don't know is there anybody there i don't know We're coming i'm gonna look at it right now no it's not applebee's it's arby's wait a Applebee's. Oh, Arby's. Well, Arby's you could drive through, so it's, eh, there's four cars. Four. 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 Four That's cars. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I'm sorry. It's just ridiculous. I picked up some canned goods, more canned goods. I picked up pre-boiled rice because that doesn't take as much time to cook. I picked up about 10 pounds of that. Even though I have that, I do have that in my storage. But if it, I'll pick up some more. Oh, check it out. Yeah, so the restaurants and not that there's not that many people at the restaurants either oh my goodness but we're almost home and i don't know what i'm making for dinner tonight i don't even know what i feel like to be honest with you that breakfast really held me over and another tip i'm going to tell you something when you eat because i found this out over the last four days because today's day five when you eat chew your food wait, properly. <laughs> wait a half an hour after you eat because sometimes after I eat something, like, I want something sweet right away. I know, but I do. And I said, not this time. Just wait. Sit for half an hour. Sip on your tea. Do whatever you have to do. And you know that feeling of I want something sweet passes? So I'm, I'm happy about that. So that's like a little tip that I could give you. That's, how, that's what I'm feeling. And also the protein in the breakfast, the bacon, the eggs. That is really helping me hold over to the next meal. And I'm not even hungry right now, but I still don't know what I'm making for dinner tonight. I do have leftovers for you. For myself, I don't know. I did enjoy those vegetables with the beans and the rice. Oh my God, is that delicious? I may have that again. It was really good. I don't mind eating like that. I don't really mind eating like that. It doesn't bother me. All right, well, we're almost home. See you later. Don't count except in horseshoes, hand grenades, and thermonuclear devices. And that's Doug. We all know. We all know. And another eat, another dieting tip. Make sure after you properly chew your food, you swallow it. From the genius over here. And I can see the subtitles now. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> later. <laughs>